everyone. So if you're a fan of this channel, you know that I am a big fan of Sphero EDU and the products that Sphero puts out. What I'm really excited to share with you today is the unboxing of Sphero's newest robot. This is the Rover. Now I bought the Rover when it first came out and it just arrived today and I bought a package that came with a few other accessories. So we're gonna open up this box. We're gonna go through, we're gonna see the accessories that came with it, and we're also gonna look at the robot and the accessories that came in the box with the robot. So with that, here is the unboxing of the Sphero Rover, and we'll start off right now. Now, I have to say I did open this uh, outer box already just for the sake of making it go a little bit quicker. So with that, oh, didn't open it really well though because it did get stuck. And we do have the contents of the box, and... Ugh. First off, we do have the Rover. Now, this is significantly bigger than previous robots that I've gotten from Sphero. Um, and I'm really excited to open this up. But let's wait for a minute or two and let's actually see what else is in the box. So, oh, here's the packing slip. So when I bought it, I also got a blue roll cage, blue tank treads, a mounting plate, and um, the rover itself, it looks like. So, let's go through. And this actually, you know, was a gift from my wife. So, uh, we have first the mounting plate for the rover. We also have the roll cage, the blue roll cage. And what is this? We have, oh, the tank treads. Um, and honestly, you know, I have to give credit to Rover, and I think I said this during the Bolt unboxing as well. They really do a heck of a job packaging this stuff. I mean, look how cool this actually looks. Um, and I can't wait to actually put this on the Rover, the blue treads, because I've always been sort of a fan of the aesthetic of the Ollie, and this does remind me a bit of the Ollie. But really, what we've all been waiting for is actually the rover. So let's go through, and here is the box. And it looks like it is a three-way box for opening up, and actually looks like a really cool setup here. So slide the outer sleeve off of it, and fold that over. Yeah, it's pretty cool packaging right there. I'll turn it over here. And I do, I really do like the way they're packaging this. Like that is really, if I can get the glare to stop, really cool blowout of the actual device itself, which is pretty exciting. And it looks like, there's one tab here. Let's see if I can get that off of that knife. Okay, very nice. And the big reveal. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. All right, so what do we have? First, on the left side, um, we have the roll cage and the mounting plate, which comes in. And again, the box is really something else here. I, I, I have to, again, say Sphero does a heck of a job actually packaging this and making it an experience. So I have the rover mounting plate, which and I do have another one of these, which I have to tell you, that's actually pretty cool that I now have two of these, because I can see when we start really using this in my classroom, that you know the mounting plates, I think, are gonna be really important for what we're doing. Um, we also have the second roll cage, and I do have a feeling that this might be something that gets uh, broken. So that's the left side of the box. You do have all of the gear to actually attach to the rover itself. The right side of the box, we have the battery and the USB-C cable, which is you know what you're going to use to actually charge it. Now, this is the first serial robot that I've ever had or seen that actually does have a removable battery. Um, and I'm really sort of excited about that. Uh, as far as classroom use goes, I think it'll be great to actually be able to pop a fresh battery in when it comes to you know two periods back to back. So let's see, we have... The USB-C cable, yep, right here. Uh, very reminiscent of the Ollie charging cable, also that nice rubberized blue. Um, 
feels a lot like the bolt charging cable as well. Again, that really tough, like I think classroom friendly type of, of uh, feel to it. Um, so charging cable is here. We have the battery. Let's see. And the battery pack that goes into the rover. And this is actually a considerable weight to this guy. Um, we see the rover in here. And oh look, and here's the charging port right back here on this. So the USB charger will go in right like that. And you should be able to charge it right from there. Uh, let me see if I can actually plug this in. Sorry, I'm off camera for a sec. Let's see. Ah. And yeah, check it out. And right off the bat, we have those lights blinking and the rover is already charging up. So, you know, we'll get this guy up and running pretty soon. Now, what I've been get, waiting to get my hands on since I first heard that the rover was being launched uh, is the robot itself. So a little bit of padding here to hold the rover in. Very nice. And here we have it, the Sphero Rover. Um, I first saw this this summer at ISTE and really thought it was a fantastic looking machine. And then if you look, okay, so let's go through it. You have the two treads, you have the top, which you can replace this with the mounting plate. I'm not sure exactly how yet. Um, and I really don't wanna break this on my first run out. So um, actually let's, Take a look just for the heck of it. Look at the mounting plate and let's see how that works. I wonder if it just fits right on top or if you have to actually, no, nah, it looks like you are, oh, you are gonna have to take it off. It actually fits in right over there. So, and, oh, oh, look at that. That's so cool. The blue button, you press it and it pops right off and you get, well, first off, a little indicator that you should download the Sphero EDU app, which, you know, if you bought one of these, you need to download that app. Um, and then we have stickers that tell us that the two motors are going to get very warm here. And it looks like, yep, that is actually the connector for the Raspberry Pi, I believe, if you want to connect that. And then the mounting plate would actually just go in here. Wait, let's see. Oh, tabs go in the back, press it down, and now you have the mounting plate and pretty much good to go if you wanna go that route and mount stuff up to it like the arm or the other stuff that I've seen in the advertisement that I can't wait to actually try out. Um, and then if you're going to, let's see how the roll cage goes on. Um, so let's see. So here's the roll cage. Let me put this back on like that. That's awesome. Like that a lot. Oh, and the roll cage just snaps. It looks like it just, just snaps into place. No, you gotta take this off. It goes in like this. There we go. Before you connect this, you put it down here. You can snap that button and you have, I did not do it correctly. Uh, it looks like, there we go. And now you have the rover all set to go just with the battery. Now the battery is not charged up, so I'm gonna have to give it some time to actually charge up, but just for the heck of it, let's see how the battery fits into this. Um, if you look over here, you'll see there is a, a lock button right there, a little lock that you can actually turn. And actually, before I do that, let's look. There is one other thing in here and it's a getting started manual, which I probably should have opened right away uh, because you know, you should read the directions before you get going. Um, let's see, and yeah, all the directions, everything we just figured out. So it's, it's a really intuitive design on how to get the top off, how to put the roll cage on. Um, also, the USB-A for power out if you're putting something on top of it. Um, and also how the battery goes and everything else that's there. Um, yeah, I always like that too. You've got the little message in the bottom that this is built for creators of tomorrow. So I have to tell you, like overall, I am really impressed with just the way Sphero packaged this thing. I think it's awesome. I mean, again, this is a beast of a robot compared to um, previous Sphero 
robots. Um, you know, the treads are really, really pretty big. Um, you have all the sensors down on the bottom as well. And you know, with the battery in here, I think this thing is gonna be, you know, have a pretty good weight to it. So let me see, now the battery, Oh, and here's the power button for it. So the battery is going to go in here. Now, I do not have, and I do not see any tool for actually opening the battery pack. So let's see, getting started. Charge commencement, two, download the app, three, put the battery in. Um, doesn't really say anything about how to actually do that. So I don't have a screwdriver here, I don't think. Let me take a quick look. Um, I do have a popsicle stick, though, and that does fit right into this. So I don't want to damage the robot. Ah, there we go. So, there we go, it's open, and there's the hatch, and the battery slides right in here. In fact, here we go with the battery pack. And there's the arrow, so you're gonna slide the battery pack right into this spot here. It locks in with a really, really solid click. Let's see, yes, a dime will work well with this. So, let's see, the battery's in. We'll go up here, and we'll lock it. And it is locked, and now I will just turn it on to try it out. Oh. That is pretty cool. I like it. All right, so with that, I am actually going to take the battery out of this guy and I'm gonna give it a full charge. And then I'm going to try it out tonight. Um, keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to have some videos once we start using this rover in my class, uh, which I'm hoping to do on Monday. Uh, it is Thursday today and I'm hoping to actually introduce it to my students on Monday for their first shot to use Sphero's new rover. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you like the channel, please check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you when we have this guy running around the classroom and having the students try it out. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video.